Huygens had been designed to transmit its data up to Cassini on two separate channels. But Cassini was only sending a single channel back to Earth. It was an immediate indication that part of the receiver for one of the two channels uh, hadn't been switched on. And that just meant all that data was lost. I mean, it, Huygens had taken the data, it had transmitted it fine, but it, it just wasn't received properly on, on Cassini, and so it was just, just all gone. The missing data stream was a potential disaster. Half the photos of Titan, nearly 350 images, were simply not received back on Earth. Boy, compared to what we were hoping for, this was really, you know, really frustrating and really difficult. But we had to smile our way through and uh, talk about what we had, and we, we did that. For Martin Tomasco, even the images he had received weren't looking as good as he'd hoped. We saw a lot of um, um, inside of the milk bottle pictures in the beginning. You know, it's just all washed out. Somewhere between 50 and 70 kilometers, we thought we'd come out through the bottom of the haze, have clear views of the surface. Well, that was not the case. That haze continued all the way down to the ground, doggone it, and there was no clear space at all. We finally got close enough to the ground to see the ground through the haze at 30 or kilometers altitude only, and, and that, was, that was beautiful, and that was, the, that was the first stuff we saw. After decades of wondering what the surface of Titan looked like, scientists now got their first glimpse. I sort of look, looked up and there was you know, this projection screen, and the first thing you see is these, these river valleys everywhere, and you think, wow. All of a sudden you could see these drainage channels. It seemed to come together over, over the highlands, over the bright material, and when you got to the dark material, there was this low region that looked like a flat lake bed. You know, after all this, you go down through the haze, and there it is, this dry riverbank that looks like the backyard in Arizona. Somewhere. Having survived the descent unscathed, the most anticipated moment in the entire mission was the touchdown on Titan. Huygens penetrometer would provide the first readings of what the landing site was like. We're sitting on icy grains which have the consistency of sand. It's sort of gravel, fine gravel you might see on a river shore or on a dried up lake bed. The probe's gas analyzers also revealed an intriguing surprise. The icy sand was soaked in liquid methane. The amount of methane that the chemical sniffer was detecting jumped very quickly. And it jumped up in such a way that there must have been, underneath this warm probe, a pool of liquid methane. Nearly 25 years since that first hazy image was taken. Finally, back at mission control, Martin Tomasco was about to reveal Titan's surface from ground zero. Can you show the first picture, crop 448, on the screen, please? And we'll see Titan unveiled as we haven't seen it before. Beneath an orange sky, Huygens' landing site was revealed as a vast, flat plain with small, rounded pebbles of ice scattered across a dry riverbed. If that image alone was the only piece of data produced by the Huygens mission, I would say that it was worthwhile. The veil had finally been lifted on Saturn's mysterious moon, Titan.